What is happening, Magnus Sykes? So from what I understand, Mr. Pelse goes off in this video on Disney. You ready? Let's check this out. Nelson, it's David. I mean, listen, I feel like we're, it's deja vu because we had this conversation with you a little over a year ago when you were trying to get on the board and then you decided not to. And, it, and they're saying the same thing they said then too, which is they question the relevant experience that you have in terms of the entertainment media business and why you would add anything. They, of course, say that they're, they have an... All he has to do is watch what's been going on with his money. That's it. That's it. Millions unsubscribing, losing billions of dollars. That's it. That's the only expertise you need to see and understand. Oh my God. And if he's smart, he's watching other YouTubers and news outlets and stuff. Man. Incredibly well-stocked board of, of, of people who are uh, fully uh, capable of holding the management team accountable. And again, I, you know, what's the plan? Like other than saying they got to do better, what's the plan? David, you asked it just like I want to do too. I mean, as written, first of all, this board, from Bob to every in independent director, has underperformed the S&P on every measure. Mm. One year, three years, five years, ten years. How much more do we have to go? How long do we have to continue to suffer with mm -hmm. this great board? By the way, they said I have no media experience. I don't claim to have any. But That's I will right. tell you, I don't think they have much media experience. They broke a record this year. There it is. See? It ain't like you have to have any media experience. You just have to watch what's going on and what they've been doing to destroy the company. He just said they broke a record. In a row, will lose us. Now, if yeah. that comes with media experience, I want a guy who doesn't have a media experience. You damn right. So, so David, let's deal with facts. The company is underperformed. Right. I made a run at them last year. They promised they were going to improve things. Mm -hmm. I took them at their word. Things got worse. The stock went down. Results got worse. Mm hmm. Okay, so no more. I can't continue to give them more opportunities. Understood. And I well, love to this. be fair, don't you need to be fair to compare it to the overall entertainment group? I mean, this is a unique period in time in which, as you well know, there are headwinds and, and changes that are uh, generational. <laughs> See, he, what he's saying here is that, yeah, basically they're all doing it. <laughs> they're all doing the same stuff, putting the same stuff in the movies. Destroying all entertainment. Don't you gotta be fair here? No. We're Disney. We're supposed to be head and shoulders above the rest. And we were head and shoulders above the rest until we decided to get with the rest and do the same damn thing. Okay? My God. Yeah, a lot of companies are losing money for doing the same thing that Disney's doing. deal with the move to direct to consumer and make it profitable so you know comparing to the S&P may be a bit unfair don't you think well, no oh, oh really I mean <laughs> that's what shareholders who buy stock compare it to David but that's right. a good point I mean look at Netflix Netflix last last reporting period did 30 billion in sales 20% margin okay then you have Warner's they did 30 billion in sales and media with a 20% margin. Okay. Disney, the big daddy, did 50 billion in sales, a 6% margin. Now, that's the competition. Mm. Those are the guys who are all suffering through a change from features to, to uh, streaming. Some have been able to cope with it beautifully. Plus, this company... Bob said it in 2015 and 16 that streaming was a, was a real issue. It was coming. 
It was here to, it was going to continue to grow. He said that back then. Here to stay. then, what happened? They did nothing. And look what happened to ESPN. The crown jewel in the, in, in, of Disney continued to lose subscribers, lose value, and now they're negotiating deals for ESPN out of total weakness. They could have made deals on, uh, on ESPN in 15, 16, 17, 18, when mm -hmm. they saw the streaming thing coming. They said it directly. And okay, did so nothing they, about they, they it. They called them weak. We do get a, a kind of a, a flavor of what Disney feels about the person you'd like to have on the board beside you, Mr. Rizzullo. It does sound like he was a stalking horse for the largest shareholder, Mr. Provoner. I don't find that wrong, but it does make it, they do make it sound like that that's something wrong there. And that, uh, that Bob Iger broke uh, Mr. Provoner's heart when uh, Mr. Rizzullo was basically fired passed over, I should say. Does Mr. Rizzol, is he better than, say, does he know more than, say, James Gorman uh, about the uh, entertainment business? A, a Disney? Yeah. For sure. I know James. I don't know how many times James has been to the park. I, I, I don't know what experience James has with Disney. And, oh, by the way, James, who I like very much, was given a board seat. He didn't have to have a plan for the company. He did not. Do you, do you have a white paper that I can see? Do you have a white paper that I can see? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> he didn't have to set a goal for the company. He got invited on the board. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, and, and I've got to go through these bells and whistles. Hey guys, I'm the largest shareholder in this company. Well, the largest well, independent. Well, listen well, to me. I want to go back to that for a second. I'm the largest independent shareholder in this company. You, but, but Here we go, know, baby. I still don't oh, really, really understand. Really? Let, 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 me yeah, wait, let me ask the question. I want because I, I am curious about this from a fun oh, perspective. Yeah. Right? You, you know, 25 plus million of the shares that you are voting, so to speak, are Ike's. And then Tryan owns, my understanding, is 7 plus million. Uh, what's your relationship with Perlmutter? Is he paying you? Are you getting fees somehow? Like, you're doing an awful lot here that really wouldn't seem to actually add the economic value for Tryan holders, given your relatively small ownership of Disney when you take out Perlmutter stock. David, I am thrilled you asked that question. Okay. Okay. Thrilled, okay? Because every fund around has investors, whether it's a pension fund, doesn't make a difference whether whether it's a sovereign fund and whether it's a bunch of individuals. What the hell is the difference? It's money. These guys want to make money. That's why they give money to funds. Mm -hmm. We we just saved one step. I Perlmutter gave us shares. He said, "Hey guys, you figure it out. I don't want to come back to the company. I don't want to be an officer. I don't want my job back." Okay, I just want to make money on my stock because, oh, by the way, when I'm gone, it's all right. going to hurt. Right, but that's yeah. not trying fund money that went into buying his stock. You didn't buy it from him. You just I like this guy. You lumped it in with your ownership stake. David, what's the difference if a guy gives me a check or he gives me shares? I have the full right to vote it, to do whatever I want with it. What's the difference that, than if Cal Burris gives me a hundred million bucks or they give me shares in a company there's no difference hmm. it's all under my control man oh man i want to see this whole thing with him i tell you boy you can see he was he was getting there he was oh, 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 oh he was getting irritated he had something to say man Pelts, I am rooting for you all day long, sir. Get up in there, please, and make some changes. I was thinking of buying Disney stock a few years ago, too. Do you know how happy I am that I did not? Oh, my God. I'd have been living, losing it. It would have been a whole lot of entertainment for y'all because I'd have been making more videos than I've been making. Right now, it's just about destroying my entertainment. It had been about destroying my entertainment and my pocket. 
Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts on what Mr. Nelson Peltz had to say, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers.